Captain Marvel is gonna make so much money, but then everything's gonna go in the trash. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Normal Guy Talk. I'm your host, Squirrel Boy, or Squirrel Man, or Squirrel White Man. I'm the albino squirrel of the Marvel Comics universe. Uh, today, the good, the bad, and the ugly of Captain Marvel. Is this movie going to flop? No, it's not. Uh, here's why. Because the buzz that I'm getting from the women around is they don't care about Brie Larson. They don't care what she said. They just want to go see a new character. They don't care about the politics and all that. Their, their mind has not been turned to the dark side of Marvel or, or what is going on with Disney acquiring it. They don't, they don't care. They just, it's a new character. They want to have fun. They want to go out. They want to see it. And so they're going to go and they're going to buy tickets. So no, my opinion is from what I'm hearing and what I've gathered is is that this movie is going to do okay. It is not going to bomb the way that a lot of, frankly, the faint white male fans are hoping that it totally bombs. So that's the good thing. There are a couple good things that it has going for it. Um, one of them is women don't care. So women are going to see it and then they're going to drag their husbands with them. Leak it and then the husband's going to go, I want to see it. But, you know, we're going to go and see it because our wives want to see it. So they'll get revenue that way. Number two, uh, Marvel has a history so far of positivity. So they don't have a negative movie. They don't have that following. We don't have that. All we have is what Brie Larson is doing, what she's saying. But most people aren't even watching that garbage. So they're going into this blinded. They're totally got their blind. They don't know what's waiting for them. And we're standing there. Don't go. Don't go. Save yourself. But they're going to realize afterwards that it was something they probably didn't want to spend their money on. So it does have a couple of good things. It has ignorance going for it. It has that women just don't care about Brie Larson, so they could care less what she says. Um, and then another thing that it has for it is that Marvel has a history of not giving us bad movies. So we don't have a, there's not a cultural um, negativity towards Marvel like there is towards D uh, DC right now. So that, ha it has it for it. Now, is this going to be the burr in the saddle that kind of gets the horse bucking? Yeah, it probably will be. So those are the three good things. The bad thing about this is, is that people are going to be turned away from Marvel after this movie comes out. They're going to be turned away from what has been built up to this point. So you're going to see a turning point in the Marvel movie franchise, largely because Disney got a hold of it, as far as I know, and they hired the wrong actress. And Kevin Feige won't tell her to keep her mouth shut. So that's the good, that's the bad. The ugly is that you are fixing to see the Marvel Universe destroyed in the cinematic world unless he, again, uh, as we described in a later video, probably he, if he can swap Brie Larson out with a different character and say, whoa, whoa, we, we made a wrong choice. We're going to swap her out. We're going to get a different character. We apologize. Everything's okay. Let's go back to what it was. Great. Fine. Let's just move on. Let's forget about the whole Brie Larson fiasco. She can go wherever it is she's from and do whatever it is she does. So yeah, uh, we can move forward. But if that doesn't happen, then you're gonna see a trend downward like we have with the Star Wars franchise in Disney. People were, were seeing the, the, the smoke signals out as the Indians are, hey, something's coming, something's wrong, and we're rallying the troops, and we're saying, look, this thing is fixing to turn. Disney's got a hold of it. The tentacles are in it, and we're fixing to see this whole beautiful creation of 10-year history go down the tubes, probably what's gonna happen. So they're gonna lose a lot of money. I I mean a lot of money. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I want to know what you think this movie's going to do. Let's see who can get the closest. Who can get the closest for the opening weekend? What do you think this movie's going to make? I think this movie's going to make anywhere from 90 to $120 million is what I think this movie's going to make. Maybe even a little bit more. It'll probably make, it will probably make in the half a billion dollar range to $700 million range over the life of its whole movie, whatever they call it. I'm not really big into that. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments that you think this movie is going to make. And hey, I don't know. Maybe we can uh, talk back and forth and see what's going to happen. I, I, I think that this movie is going to do okay. That's my opinion about it. I don't think it's going to be a good movie. Don't get me wrong. I think it's trash. I think it's trash. But I do think it's going to do okay because of the ignorance. Thank you for watching Normal Guy Talk. I hope you have a great day.